Hello, I'm Charles Darwin, a British naturalist from the 19th century. I arrived in the Galapagos Archipelago in 1835 as a young participant in a scientific voyage. I dedicated some years of my life to research this living laboratory of evolution, and out of this experience I wrote my book, On the Origin of Species by Means of Natural Selection, or the Preservation of Favored Races in the Struggle for Life. Today, I'm pleased to invite you to learn more about scientific and artistic projects carried out in the Enchanted Islands, as Dark Paradise. This project brings together an international team of marine biologists and artists in an intimate collaboration investigating on coral resilience in different ways. Welcome. Hello, I'm Lynn Margulis, an American evolutionary biologist. I dedicated many years of my research to the significance of symbiosis in evolution. Symbiosis is any type of close and long-term interaction between two biological organisms of different species, termed symbionts. Corals live in symbiosis with algae. In this room you'll submerge yourself into the water surrounding Roca Redonda, an underwater volcano in the Galapagos Archipelago where the team found invasive corals adapting to the acid water column produced by volcanic activity. The process might be compared to the destructive one, caused by global air pollution absorbed by the seas. Hello, I'm Jacques-Yves Cousteau. I'm a French naval officer, ocean explorer, and co-inventor of the Aqualung. Probably, you've heard of me or seen movies about my undersea investigations and marine adventures. Here, in this space, you'll see documentation from the recent expedition of my young colleagues. At the beginning of 2023, they embarked on a journey to Isabella Island in the Galapagos for a new research embracing coral reef restoration and how sound influences the process. This project reunites Dos Isla Studio and the Galapagos Reef Revival Initiative to run a few experiments on bioacoustics and coral growing based on the first transplant of corals from nursery to their natural habitat. I'm glad to notice these young lads learned something from our previous explorations.